Hi, as you can tell, I am in a new space right now. So I converted one of the spare bedrooms uh, into an art studio. And earlier I was taking a nap because yes, I take a nap every single day. And you know how when you're like asleep, your head's all like vushy and it's like thinking about all these things? Well, I was thinking about massaging resin, like, I don't know, I was like, I just want to give resin a massage. <laughs> and then I like, kind of like started to wake up and I was like, wait a second, what if I dripped alcohol ink into, um, you know, a mold and then like massaged in the color? What effect is that gonna have? That's not something that I've seen anywhere yet. I mean, I've seen people like draw designs and stuff with like sticks, but I've not seen anyone just take their fingers and give the resin a massage. So here's what we're doing today, y'all. We're gonna massage some resin, let's go. Psych! I wanted to let you guys know, this photo right here is what I'm going to be using as inspiration. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but that's how I'm gonna pick the colors and I'm just gonna try to make like a sunset. Okay, now we're ready, let's go. I don't know if y'all can tell how much of a mess this place is. I should warn you ahead of time. It's not really like a warning, I'm just telling you because it might feel awkward. Um, I will be wearing a very small woman's top for the remainder of this project. And I know what you're thinking, wow, this guy's super gay. Or like, wow, this guy's chest is basically a forest. And you would be correct about both of those things, but that is not why I'm wearing a woman's shirt. It is because I don't have any like get them dirty throwaway clothes. Um, but I do have this uh, because one time I was at work and I vomited on myself um, because I was choking on something. Like not because I was sick, but I was just like, it was choking and I vomited. Uh, also, I know I'm not supposed to be the type to choke, but I did choke on something. My body vomited to get it out of me. Um, and it's funny because it, I mean, it did its job. So good job body. I don't need, I don't need the Heimlich. I got this, just stand back. But yeah, so a chick had a Goodwill uh, bag in her vehicle, so she gave me this, and I wore it, and um, now I have it, and now we're gonna use it for art. So you might you might see me in it more, just, just, just a heads up there. I'll be back once we got all the resin mixed up, okay? Okay. I mixed up one cup. Um, for this mold, I actually need like two and a half cups total. Um, usually I like to do things in three layers just because I think it's really fun. Um, but with this, uh, I'm gonna be doing, I think just one. So I'm actually going to now immediately need to make up a second cup of resin. I wanted to take a quick pause to let you guys know we're gonna be using 10 different colors. So we've got, I'm gonna go through them really quickly, okay? We've got Pinata Passion Purple, and then um, I'm gonna be coloring just a little bit of the resin with, it's Dibble Dabbles, this is Midnight, and this is Azure Sea, and then Cerulean uh, in less resin ink. I'm gonna be doing all of those in one because I like the combo it creates. Uh, some black that we're just gonna be dripping in, some peach red, which is just fancy for pink, um, and then we're also gonna be dyeing some more resin with just red by Let's Resin and Dibble Dabble's Fire Engine. And then we're also gonna be doing some orange drops as well as white. So, whenever I go, I go hard or go home. And so far, most of my, I'd say about half of my projects have been fails and half have been successful. So let's see where this one takes us. Poured the rest of what I just mixed up in there and I've got about this much left in the cup uh, because I will be coloring part of it. Now I'm gonna grab these bubbles real quick. That is not a bubble. Inevitably, you will get things in the resin. It will happen, especially if you want airflow, you're gonna need a fan on. I've got a fan on right now, so it it was bound to happen, you know what I'm saying? For this, I need to split that about equal parts. This is gonna get a little tricky, so let me try to 
explain it clearly for you. Um, okay, so I am gonna take these two and, and this and put it in this one. And then I'm gonna take this and this and put it in that one. So it has the sprinkling side. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in there. And I want like a good hefty helping of all of these, you know what I'm saying? So not too much, otherwise this part of the resin won't cure. Um, but this powder doesn't take up that much space and a little bit goes a long way. So I've got about, can you see? It's just like a layer on top. And then with this, I'm just gonna do about three little drops. Yeah, we'll start with that and we'll see how this is looking. It's like blue metal. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this because I really just love the color. So now, for the red. Um, by the way, this is crunch time, y'all, because once your resin is all mixed and poured, uh, you don't have a terribly large amount of time. Look at this red, ooh, ah. I'm gonna put more of the alcohol ink. Here's this color. So I'm gonna do purple up here at the very tippity top. Oh, well, I put way more than I meant to, so whoopsie days. That was like way more than I meant to put. And then with this guy, oh. I'm gonna do, oh, I can't use that. I need a popsicle stick. You see what I'm doing? I'm just like swirling it in there. Yep, and then I want to throw in uh, some splashes of this. And then throw some white on top of that. I'm, I wish I could show you guys this better. There's not really a better, like a way for me to do a better angle. Now I want to throw in some of this black in here. And then here. And for the black, we're only going to do white on top of it in uh, three of them. Because I want it to actually, I like, I want it to be dark. You know what I mean? Okay, so then the blue fades into this uh, peachy red color. And I am gonna throw down some more of this actually. Just on top of all of that. I feel like it's a little bit lacking. Okay, and then some of this can go behind that too that way. Boom! This just turns out like a really hot pink. Boom! Got some of that. Now, that, man, I've got an idea. I don't know if I'm like doing too much of this or not, 
but I kind of feel like I didn't put quite enough in it because um, I don't want there to be so much orange and I just realized I put one, two, three, four colors all like slammed into that. Oh, no, I still have a lot of red to do. So I am still gonna do just a few more spritz of those. Um, cause I feel like that was a little bit lacking. See, I'm so messy, I, I, I lost track of my order because it was in my way. I just put in way too much white. I want some red at the top too, like coming through it, you know what I mean? So I need to have some of that going through. And then, oh, I've got a good idea too. Oh, I've got such a good idea for this. This is like blood red, y'all. Okay, so I was gonna throw in some of this cerulean blue right in that space. Oh, too much white, too much white. So now I can throw in some, I don't know, no, I don't know, we're just gonna leave that. And then orange to the bottom, oh I haven't popped that. With these you gotta stab a little tack through it. So we're doing this. Uh, orange at the bottom here. That is a lot of orange. I haven't been able to like successfully drip it this whole video. I keep doing like double drips on accident. I swear there was a method to my madness. Oh, well, that was wrong. It's supposed to go there. Not two, whatever. Oh yeah, but you know what? I forgot. Man, I was gonna put some of the white down here. That's okay, I do remember. I wanna do like some more whites in the bottom so it's a little bit lighter. Oh, do I need yellows? There's not a, really enough of the purple and the black and stuff up top. So I'm gonna throw in some black drops. And then throw in a little bit more purple. Oh, that was a lot of purple. So, here's the fun part, y'all. I'm gonna see if I can, like, if there's a way to turn this. I'm gonna pull these down. I'm missing fingers. Like IRL, I have fingers that are missing, so I ha I need to pull these down. See, they're like shorter. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them all down so the resin's not just like getting stuck in my fingertips. I'm literally just going to give this thing a massage. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start. 
Something's telling me from the top. And I was thinking it should have been from like the bottom up, but I'm gonna listen to it. So I'm just literally massaging it. Oh. Okay. I don't love that. It looks muddy and gray, but you know what? Maybe the bottom won't. Maybe this won't be a complete failure. And I don't know, but I'm not loving it so far at all. Oh no. Oh God, no, it's gonna turn out, man. It's gonna turn out. Think positively. Think positive thoughts. What can I do if I'm not loving this? I can do some of this. I'm sorry, I'm just taking this and this one, something like that. And then I'm gonna do the same with the red I've got left. Whoa, I didn't mean to do a big old doll. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in on top of all of that. And make some A's. Okay. I'm sorry I had to do more. I I don't love this even more though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it before and I don't like it now, so let's see it, hold on. You know, I actually do like this better. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like there is, there's a shape in here that I'm enjoying and I am seeing that like down here, it's doing some funky things. Ooh, this angle is so good if I can figure out what kind of tripod to get for this. Look. Ooh. This is what I wasn't liking at first. It's like, uh, they call them cells. It's interesting what's happening here. So, yeah, we'll be back. Ooh, I love that spot. Okay. We'll be back in 24 hours to see how it turned out. Yay! Two quick things. Um, so if you're doing a messy project like this, um, clean up the edges. Because if you try to do... Uh, that's not a hair. It looks like one, but it's not. <laughs> um, if you do your next... Like how that dot is there, I'm just going to leave it. But if you try to put a back layer, it's going to show up. Second thing, Pouring Your Heart Out gave me a fantastic idea. I'll link her profile over there, or her a video, check it out. Um, use your uh, leftover resin in a random mold. I just chose this. It's just a cup holder thingy, and I've got something that fits perfect on it, so I'll just use it here. It's been just a few hours, and this is what it looks like. I actually really love the way that this is going so far. I mean, do you guys see, like, just, like, how rad those shapes and colors are? I'm just hoping that it did, like, the same thing on the other side. Um, the middle's looking a little bit funky, but that's okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's what gold flakes are good for, to put some right there in the middle, but, you know, I don't have those yet, so that's what we've got, yeah. And then, oh, here's the, this that I guys, I was talking about earlier. This is what I do. I just kind of put it in there. So far, I guess the front's gonna look like that. Okay, cool. That's why I like these molds quite a bit, because you can see through them. Can I just say, this is truly a fantastic view to do my art. <laughs> He's not in here when I actually do the resin, but we're just gonna take the bad boy out of here for now. So here we go. All right, I am super, super excited to see how these came out. Um, I also learned a little trick from pouring your heart out. I believe it was um, to put gloves on whenever you're taking them out the first time, because since, you know, it takes 
Well, at least for this kind of resin, it takes seven days for it to fully cure. It will keep you from getting your like oils all over it. Well, uh, if you're like me and you just scratch your neck, then, you know, moot point, but <laughs> here we go. <laughs> all right, so I'm super excited about this angle too, so you guys can see this so much better now. But this is how the back came out, all like vooshly. Now there's a dent in it right there. You can, I don't, I have no idea what caused that because it was sitting, this table is completely level. It's actually the first level surface I've ever used. And this is the first one to come out with this weird dent. Uh, I, I don't know what caused that. Here's the back, there is a hair or two in there, even though I covered it up, I did uncover it for a minute to record it. Um, so here we go. Now I'm taking this out super easy because it is technically just a couple hours too early. Um, let me just, yeah, it's fine. Um, I've noticed if you're super careful with them, they can come out a little bit early. Uh, it's not too big of a deal. Um, you just gotta be really easy because they're still bendable. Oh my goodness, this is freaking gorgeous. <gasps> no. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. I've gotta look at her. Whoa. It's funny, because it, it doesn't look anything, you know, it doesn't look anything like a sunset. Also, the front, it just, it's got the strangest dents in it. Like, even the front has this, I don't know, right there, it's got this, like, dent. And I don't know, like, was that from because I touched it? It doesn't look like a sunset like I was going for, and you almost can't tell that there's any orange in it. But I really, I love the, if it would focus, it's trying to find my face. Um, but like the sides and how the sides came out, <clears throat> really pretty. I like the back actually on this one and I don't usually. Uh, the front is just, I mean, it's an explosion of color and lines. I love that so freaking much. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love the bottom the most. That's so pretty. All those blues and pinks and those reds. Wow. I really like the way this came out. I might try this later with fewer colors. I know I used a lot of colors. Um, so I think that's why like the orange kind of just blended into a brown, but let's be honest, the orange I used was already kind of brown. Um, like it looked, it looked a little bit brown whenever I dropped it in. It didn't look like a vibrant, bright orange. Um, sorry, it's like super hot in here, but you guys know no matter what, I'm always sweating. I will always be sweating in every video. I'm always very, very hot. <gasps> Oh, there's a, I sat the mold right on a lump of, uh, yep, there was resin under the bag. That's why there's a lump. I knew there had to be something, so I was like, uh, it didn't have a lump in it, but yeah. So there's a lump in it. There's a couple, actually. Um, that's okay. So since it isn't, like, totally fully cured, I am putting it back into this um, because it hasn't actually been a full 24 hours. <laughs> it's been close. It's been about 20 or 21. I'm happy that these turned out the way they did and I might do something with the back of this. I don't really know yet. So if I do, you'll find out on Instagram. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram. My name everywhere is Cellispex. And if you guys um, don't follow me, then you're missing out on mod. I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, go do something productive. Be kind to people. Be loving to others. Be helpful. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!
Let's go.